Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, here at the Second Swing Tour Van, joined by Bella McCauley. Uh, as of right now, the current reigning Big Ten Player of the Week, uh, by the way. So uh, today, TaylorMade driver test, head-to-head, -to -head, 2024 versus 2023. The uh, TaylorMade QI10 versus TaylorMade Stealth 2. So, uh, Bella, we've got both driver heads here. Um, or you can tell right away there's some changes made to the appearance, for sure, but also it looks like the shaping might be a little different. So. And I also remember last year doing some testing and you actually liked the Stealth too. So um, what was it that you liked about that one and um, you know, whether it was appearance or performance on it? Yeah, it was a long time ago, but I do remember liking it a lot. I think it had something to do with the, the fact that the head was a little bit smaller, which mm -hmm. definitely fits my eye. And then I think I also just performed pretty well with it. Uh, right off the bat, I can see that the new TaylorMade mm -hmm. is a little bit larger of a head, but We'll see. I'm excited to see the comparison, especially having like last year so much. Yeah, yeah. I think you can definitely, uh, they added a little bit of weight behind sort of in, in the back of the club, right, to kind of boost that forgiveness and MOI. Um, I also am going to be curious to get your thoughts, you know, once you start swinging a little bit on how they've changed that leading edge a little bit there. Yeah. They've kind of, now it's all glossy, right? There used to be, you know, just that leading edge was kind of a sort of that matte black, but um, as we know, tailor-made drivers are kind of, uh, they have a certain place in the, in the market, right? A lot of golfers are looking forward to the tailor-made driver every year. Um, and we'll see how that all performs here. They've also slightly, slightly modified the face to make it more durable. So, uh, okay. but for today's test, we're gonna have you hit about 10 swings with each driver. We'll uh, identify the best eight. And then I also should mention that we did a previous test just now with a shaft and it seems to work. So for Jakur, bleh. Fujikura Speeder NX uh, 50 wow, regular. Wow, that's a mouthful. So it's, a, it's a lot, um, but uh, it should compare similar to what kind of you're using with your Perfect. Titleist driver. So a um, lot of excitement here. I'm, I'm excited for this one. Uh, are you ready to hit I'm ready. Shots? Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoa. Is the aiming right? It should be. I don't think I changed anything, but now you're making me. Uh... Maybe it is, and maybe I just hit like a bad shot. Yeah, we're right oh, on I guess I just hit a bad one. Wow. Because I was with you, I was like, well, this is. She never. She normally hits it right down the middle, so. <laughs> that one was a little better. <laughs> That one looked like it might have started a little right as well. Oh, it came back. Wow, look at that. Is that a little off the toe, perhaps? I think so. Kind of, oh, a little bit high, okay. Wow, look at that one. That so one a few swings good. in. Um, clearly, you kind of like to play that draw, and it's yep. showing up here a little bit. Um, thoughts on how the, that driver feels? Feels good. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I've hit it. The look of it is a little different yeah. than what I remember. Um, but so far, I feel like I, I actually like the fact that I feel like I haven't hit it the best, but still have seen like decent results. Yeah. You know, pretty consistent. That's kind of, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's TaylorMade's goal is helping you on those shots that don't feel as good, you know? Come back left. Some extra speed on that there one. There we go. There we go. Wow, 250 on that one. That's the first time I've seen that number today. Not quite as good of a contact on that one, probably. No, not really, but still just kudos to the tailor made. It still was. Yeah, it looks like you just based on the smash factor, it's 142, but it's still able to get out there 244 yards. Oh yeah. I don't know. You're setting a pretty high bar here for Taylor made to beat with our new driver. <laughs> um, let's see how many shots we got here. We got seven down, so. That one might go left. That one was not well hit. That was no. a bad one. Mm. I think I may have found our second shot. We were, we were gonna yep, take Yep, we're getting rid of that one. Must be nice to be at that point as a golfer where if you hit one like off the fairway, you, your first thing is, well, I, I lined up wrong instead of the part of the swing. <laughs> no, I think that's a bad move. <laughs> Let's not do that. All right, was that 10? No, that was one more. more. Okay. 
Oh yeah, there's some speed. All right. Woo. So. Oh, kind of a big dispersion, but. Kind of, well, we're gonna take out, uh, this was the one that's kind of really that was the making really it uh, seem larger. As we, as we said, we'll take the best eight. Probably get this one out. Uh, would you rather take it out this one or one of these two over here? Uh, probably actually that one on the left. Was let, this was one not here? As well hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that was the smash one factor one was smash. not good. Yeah, okay. All right, so now we've got our best eight out of 10 with the TaylorMade Stealth 2 driver. Mm -hmm. We talked about the feel of it a little bit. Here's some of the, the numbers on average. Um, it's a pretty darn good spin rate. You know, you're pretty consistent across the board there. And you know, the smash factor was kind of anywhere from one, four, five, got up to one, four, eight on this one. Um, and then that average of two forty five. I know, I know that's for you. That's, that's pretty good, right? That's kind of where you like to be. You know, you kind of, you did eclipse two fifty with this one. So. Yeah. And I think, I think the club head speed was a little bit higher than I was in the last video with some mm -hmm. of the other driver. Yeah. So Maybe that's getting a little cool bit warmed up. <laughs> that's that could be it yeah. too. Yeah. But I think, for you, I think it's nice because you have, you know, what, one, two, three, six of these for sure are kind of right down the middle, essentially. Yep. Um, and then you hit you, these couple out to the right. Typically what a lot of uh, golfers see with these ones out to the right is that when that club face is open maybe a little bit, the ball spins more and it therefore doesn't go as far. Um, for, for you, uh, you're still seeing the same distance when you miss it out to the right a little bit. Um, if I bring this over to the total, it maybe becomes not quite that sort of diagonal. It's a little more of a straight across oval, but um, the distance is still there if you miss it out a little bit to the right, which I think is really good. A lot of golfers, if they struggle missing right, it also probably means they give up 20 to 50, 20 to 30 yards sometimes. Yep. So that's another good plus as well. Um, yeah, I think overall I was able to see some some good speed with this club, some good distance, and. For the most part, I mean, I definitely missed hit a couple of shots, but for the most part, to see them pretty consistent was good. You know, the club face is a little bit more compact, so I think it just, it really just sets, depends on the person and how it sets up to your eye. Overall, like the feel of the club is super good though, and I did like, I did like the feel of it as um, off the club face. It's yeah, really good. yeah, okay. Very good. Well, um, I imagine you'll like the feel again, but we'll just have to, you know, with the QI-10 here, because more or less the same material. Um, just some shape things that change. So let's go to the QI-10 here. All right. All right, the QI-10. This, this, yep. This How's that good. look? It's obviously it a little good. different. Don't have that red sort of, uh, you know, trim to it, I guess. Yeah. So. No, it looks good. It looks good off the face. A little bit of a wider head, but mm -hmm. looks good. I don't know if, I, if you noticed this. My first reaction was that that was louder than... The stealth it, too. it sounded good. It sounded good, which is sounds good. It's just I thought it was a little bit louder. You know, I didn't. I don't know if I'm not paying attention to the sound or what, but. And yeah, maybe it's also me just overthinking it or something. Oh yeah, that did sound louder. Now that I'm noticing it. Yeah, I mean, and look, I dirt when when I, you know, when we film these videos and we put them on YouTube. There's so many golfers out there that have different. You know, different preferences opinions. or different thoughts, different things that matter to them. And so I am, when I'm in here, I'm like looking for things to, yeah. to differentiate the clubs, you know? Absolutely. Some just, players are, don't care at all or won't even notice any sound difference. Some are very particular about it. We're just here to make it better for people who need new clubs. Yeah. A little bit kind of a, Little low. Lower drop, I think. I, I mean, low. I think that's the fastest ball Goodness. speed I've seen today. Wow, that there's a good, good ball. I'm gonna be curious. I I feel like so far I'm not gonna look at the numbers and 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 cheat, but I think the ball speed has been on average faster so far with with the QI10. With this one. Yeah. That one started a bit right. Yeah. It's hung on there though. You got to 250 with that one. Yeah, I will say when I do miss right, it still seems to be like a well hit shot. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think a lot of golfers are looking at that and are very encouraged to see the ball go right, but not lose a bunch of, of distance. 
That one might not be good. Yeah, too far left. Yeah, I. unless something really changes here, your the ball speed is much faster with this driver. For sure. Getting that almost to 135. It seems like your average is closer to 135 versus I think your faster ones with the Stealth 2 were Oops. about 135. Hmm. Wonder if that was okay. Interesting. So a little bit of the face open there. Yeah. To be honest, I think I'm getting tired. Yeah. Well, it has been a lot of driver swings today. So, Let's see how many we got. We got two more. Can you do two more? Of course. Oh yeah. That one was good. Beauty. Not tired. <laughs> that was perfect. Definitely higher ball speed. Yeah, I For again, sure. that was more of the sort of gut reaction, I, I think, but let's pull them up here now. We got, we will take out a couple of the swings. Um, I think we got to go with that last one and maybe that one in the bunker over here. Yeah. Sort of the two to remove. For sure. And this one. So we've got our, our averages here of the 10. Well, the eight best for the QI10. And um, yeah, ball speed is, is definitely faster. Despite, a, well, technically it's pretty much the same. The club speed basically being the same. You did get the faster ball speed. So mm -hmm. result is a higher smash factor. Interesting that the spin is pretty much the same. Um, but the difference was that the Stealth 2 for you launched a little bit higher. So it stayed in the air a little longer and kind of carried farther. Um, I guess, what other, are there anything else that you kind of jumps out at you here? Obviously they're very similar, which we kind yeah. of expected a little bit, but some small differences. Yeah, honestly, um, I think they are very similar clubs. Yeah. At least in terms from a number standpoint and statistics, but it's more so just like, I definitely notice a different like feel with both clubs okay. and a different look with them. Yeah. Um, different sounds kind of like we noticed. So more so just, like preferences and how it feels. Honestly, I'm prob I probably prefer the QI10 a little bit yeah. more just with the look and the feel. Um, mm -hmm. Both, I definitely, I mean, for the most part, fairly consistent. I actually yeah. kind of like that some of the shots were like a little bit out right a little bit just because I don't want that like super far left miss. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, both really good clubs. I think they're super comparable. So I think that also kind of shows people like, you know, you might not always need the newest model. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, if, if you like the South a little bit more, like, not, that should be totally fine. So I think they're both really comparable clubs, but definitely different looks, different feels, and yeah. different sounds off the ball. Yeah, they've, you know, they've made us some slight changes to the structure of the face where it's, um, the idea for them was to improve the durability of it. And, you know, there was, um, you know, that the pre the first couple of iterations of this carbon face or they had some kind of some times where that face would maybe cave in and stuff. So they tried to improve it with this. Um, but then also that look is obviously very different. That that crown being mm -hmm. kind of the, the complete black glossy look. I, sure. I like it a lot better personally. Yeah, me um, too. And then I just I think the big takeaway in terms of the numbers and the, the data here is that ball speed. Uh, it was just yeah. a couple like a mile an hour or two miles an hour faster yeah. on pretty much every swing with the QI 10. Yep. Um, if we, you know, really expand it, you know, with the Stealth 2, again, the club speed numbers are pretty similar, right? You're right at 92 on average with the Stealth 2, but, you know, we got really two swings where it got to 135. Um, That's where if true. we go to the QI 10, you know, you had, you know, your 136 here, you had a 135, 135, 136, yep. one, you know, so a lot just more consistently high ball speed with yeah. the QI 10. Um, but like you said, both clubs very similar, both Consistent for you, you know, the distance consistency was very good up there, as you can see. Um, golfers looking for a tailor-made driver, you know, both of these are great options. Just depends if you want, you know, the brand new model, um, yeah. custom fit, you can come in a second swing, trade in your something that you were playing. Um, or, you know, the Stealth 2, same deal. Uh, you're gonna probably save a couple hundred bucks on that one versus the QI10, but they're both gonna be awesome. So, um, Bella, thanks for joining and, and hitting the tee shots today. These were. Some pretty good testing here, and I think we got a lot of good information from it. Good. It was fun.